Hey everyone, it's Mark from WIPMX.com and today I want to talk to you about your bug tracker. Now this is the second video I've created. The previous video I did notice after posting that I could not see my cursor. Not sure how I didn't pick up on that while I was editing, but anyway, I'm reshooting the video. Hopefully um, this time everything will show up. So uh, the purpose of this video um, I had thought to do a start to finish video on how I created this bug tracker that you see on screen but I mean there's a ton of videos out there on YouTube for the most part there's really column headers and um, just information but there are a few tips and tricks and just basically some simple formulas that you can add to your bug tracker to get a little more value out of it with less effort so with that being said let's get started so the first thing I'd like to show you is my days open column as you see over here it's basically a tally of uh, the number of days between the date it was opened and the current date so the way you do that is let me show you what I have here what? there we go so right here I have the date and it's a simple formula you just pick an empty cell and what you want to do is you want to make sure you pick a cell that you won't forget its location so I just happen to pick the one that's right here but just to show you the formula it's very simple it's equal today brackets enter and you'll get today's date now it's referencing that date from the machine that this document is hosted on so if you're spreadsheet is hosted on your laptop or desktop then it's going to go off the date on that machine so if that date is incorrect this date will be incorrect in my case uh, my spreadsheet set on servers so again it's just going off the date that's from that server and it's probably pulling from the nearest domain controller so on and so forth so again as long as the host machine has the accurate date you will have the accurate date and then what you want to do is just grab a cell and it will go uh, let me see what is it Ch -ch -ch -ch. equals this date minus this cell enter so again I'll just jump to a different cell so again it's equals select the cell from the uh, date it was open minus cell where you have the current date equals and what it's going to do is it's going to take this date and the difference from whatever this date is so tomorrow this will turn to 12 this will become 14 15 so on and so forth so one more time equal this cell minus cell enter now let me go ahead and move this and what I like to do is just actually hide this there we go ah, not sure what happened here let's remove that there we go okay so the next thing I'd like to show you is you see down here at the bottom I have total number of bugs how many are open how many are closed now just to give you a quick demo you see we have 18 25 if I change this obviously open will go to 19 closed will go to 24 so let's see and there we have it do it again so the way you get this down here is fairly simple and I'll do it over here it's just equal count if bracket then you want to choose where you want to get your information from you know this case is from column H status then you put a comma quotation marks and it's not font specific but I think it is case sensitive so if you type open with an uppercase O and then all lowercase letters, you need to do the same thing here. Uh, 
close quotes, close bracket. And there you have it, 20. So now you see you have 20 here. Oh, what's going on here? So you have 20 here and 20 here. Now this should turn to 21 and it does. And so it's the same formula for close. So equals count if brackets select your area comma quotes closed close quotes close brackets enter and again 22 here 22 here now they're both 21 22 and we'll change it here, and it's 23. Simple enough. So to get your total, to get this number here, it's pretty straightforward. It's just uh, equal sum, brackets, choose your, what you want to tally up, close, enter. So we'll do it again. Uh, equal sum. So as you want to tally up. Close brackets. Enter. And one thing you can do if for any reason you forget these formulas is uh, when I click on the cell, as you probably already know with Excel, the formula is actually displayed in that cell up here. So you'll see that. You see that one, you see these over here. Hmm, not sure why these dates are changing like that. Very strange. Okay, and so the uh, last thing I wanted to show you, filters. Gotta love your filters. So to add filters, you just basically highlight your uh, column headers. Come over here, the filters. And it's already checked here. I mean, uncheck it, they go away. Check it, and they're back. And what's great about filters is if you look on this sheet here, you see I have review dates because, you know, if you have a ton of bugs, or not even a ton, you could just have 10 bugs. You might not be able to get through all of them during your bug buster sessions, your daily bug buster sessions. So, what you want to do is you set dates for the ones you want to review view and this is where your filter will come in you just come in and we just want to look at the ones for the 24th which is a date that's already passed and unless we need to reference something we only want to look at the items that are open and there you have it these are the ones that we wanted to review on the 24th let's say um, you got a really great team, they're just knocking tickets out. So then what we can do is we can go to the 25th. And now we just have three tickets to go through. So that's really one of the awesome things about filters. And as you can see up here, you can see which filters are engaged because they'll have this little triangle right here. And you just open it up and then there's everything again there's another way to do it just with two clicks but i don't exactly remember how that's done i would if i was in um this is um excel 2016 for mac so even though it's very similar to 2016 for windows there are some features that are missing and that is one of them i believe but um that pretty much covers everything so if I see that there's an audience for a start to finish video on how to create this tracker from just a blank um, Excel spreadsheet, I'll go ahead and do that. And I'll also get this uploaded to my website for those of you who would just like to download it and just have it to, you know, use for yourself. So hope you found some value in this video. I'm going to try and put out the video every week. 
And if you did, uh, please subscribe. Thanks for your time.